hi guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make this hat it's let's call it two in one because you start here at the bottom and you end up at the top of the hat so it's really easy and warm For this hat I'm using 5 mm hook and 5.5 mm hook. So I'm going to start with 5.5 and I'm going to make 8 rounds of the neck with 5.5. Then I'm going to change it to the 5 mm hook for the rest of the neck and the hat. And for the yarn I'm using medium weight yarn, it's 100% acrylic, so I chained here 70. So for those of you who've been watching my videos, you probably are famil familiar with this part, because I made it before, so 70 stitches and first round is going to be double crocheting and the rest of the neck is going to be one front post double crochet next is going to be uh, back post double crochet so the neck is going to be made with uh, 18 rounds in total 18 rounds eight with 5.5 millimeter hook and the rest that means 10 rounds will be made with 5 mm hook. So let's get started. I chained 70. Join them in slip stitch. Chain two, and double crochet all the way around. So finish the row in double crochet. I'm at the end of the first row. Slip stitch. Chain two. Front post double crochet. Back post, double crochet, front post, back post. So continue working even eight rounds with this hook. After eight rounds, we should change the hook to five millimeters. I just finished eight row rounds. I wanted to use uh, 5.5 millimeter hooks for the bottom because I wanted it to be a little bit looser at the bottom and now I'm going to use for the rest 5 millimeter hook. 
I just finished the 18th row and you can see the bottom is a little bit wider than upper part. So let's measure it. Seven and a half inch. Now we are going to single stitch 22. Chain one and single stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. So single stitch 22, put stitch marker and we are going to skip 26, put stitch marker, so 20 stitches. Now we are going to chain those 26 stitches plus we are going to add uh, six more that means 32 six uh, 32 stitches let's chain 32 one two three four five six I chain 32 and here I skip 26 now I'm going to join now in this stitch and now I'm going to single stitch 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm going to join the round this single stitch. Now I'm going to single stitch six rows. So this part, 
six rows, six rounds. So single stitch six rounds. I'll meet you there. I just finished uh, six single stitch rounds. And you should have 76 single crochet now chain 2 and we are going to make this round half double crochet You're supposed to have 76 half double crochets. Last stitch of this row. Chain two, round post double crochet. Back post double crochet. Front post. Back post. Double crochet. We're going to crochet 12 rounds of front post and back post double crochet. So I just finished 12 rounds of front post and back post double crochet. Now I'm going to start decreasing. Chain 2, 1 front post. Now, these two we're going to make together, to crochet together. Back post. Front post. Together.
back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and these two together. Back post. Front post together. One more time. One back post. One front post. Again, back post. Front post. And this and this together. Finish the round like so. Join the round with slip stitch, chain 2, next round, front post double crochet, front post double crochet again, now these two together, back post, on post three loops back post double crochet front post double crochet Front post double crochet, these two together. Back post, front post, front post, two together. Back post, front post, front post. These two together. Back post, front post, front post, these two together. Front post, front post. Back post and front post together. Finish the, the round doing this. At the end of the row, second row. Here. Join the 
around. Chain two. Front plus double crochet. Together. Front post. Front post. Now these two together. Back post and front post together. Front post, front post, back post and front post together. Front post, front post, these two together. Two front posts, two together. Two front post, two together. One front post, one front post, these two together. Front post, front post. These two together. Front post, front post, two together. Next round, chain two. We're going to make two front posts together, two front posts together. So now we in this row we don't have any more back posts, only front posts. So make two together. Chain two, front post, front post together. Front post, next front post together. So just make two together of each front post. These two together, these two together, and continue doing this. Two together, two together, two together. So is the last round of decreasing and finishing the half. Chain two, these two. Together. So this and this together. this and this together, this and this together. So I just finished the last row.
So the hat is done. Now we're going to make this part. I don't know how it's called, but it's optional. If you want, you can make it. If you don't want, just leave it without. So I'm going to make it. Now let's start making this part. So we're going to skip here six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to work in the seventh one. We're going to work with a single stitch. single stitch till the uh, seven from the end so leave six one two three four five six so you work up to here Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty stitches. stitch slip stitch and turn the work we're going to work in this one single stitch to the end of the row. At the end of the row, single stitch in this one, and the next stitch down there. Slip stitch, next stitch, and turn. Single stitch. Slip stitch, next stitch, 
enter. This one single stitch. Single stitch and slip stitch. The next one. Turn. Single stitch, not in this one, but in this one. One more single stitch here. And slip stitch. Turn. Work in this one. slip stitch in the last stitch we're going to turn and this time we're going to single stitch all around from here all the way and this part so up to here So last row I'm going to single stitch from here, here, this part and you end up here where you begin. stitch 
and we are going to single stitch here so here we have in total seven rows for this part finish the row at the end and we finish here where we started the row Let's measure it how long it is. It measures sixteen and a half inches. Cut the yarn to hide now the yarn. So it's done, you can see it, you can cover your mouth and your nose or you can leave it like this. So you have enough of this part to cover your neck 
and it goes a little bit over your shoulders maybe just a little bit So I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching, liking my videos and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.